Today's video is going to feature this amazing and incredibly large fun zone upstairs. But you know what? It's not even the half of it. There is so much more to see in this easily grand. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and I have been waiting so long to feature this absolutely exquisite, glorious model here at Lakeview Preserve. This is a Pulte community here in Winter Garden. This is a gated community. This is actually a gated section within a gated community. This is the Easley Grand, my friends. Super versatile and absolutely gorgeous. Let's go in and take a look at this home. Again, like we said, this is a beautiful decorated model, so you're going to see a lot of beautiful fit and finish and upgrades throughout the home. But what we really don't want to lose sight of is the versatility of the floor plan and honestly just the gorgeous gorgeous and very functional layout so they are very busy here the community is selling like incredibly well so they're super busy so we're gonna try to be respectful of those that are working around us so we're gonna go through the layout and the flow of this home for the floor plan again easily grand just to give you a few specifics on it it's just about 4,200 square feet with the versatility of being either five bedrooms or six bedrooms three car garage and on larger home sites so absolutely a win-win-win so let's take a quick peek over here. So as soon as we've entered in through the front door over here, you're going to have a bedroom up front. The builders are in there working, but you have a bedroom up front and then you have a full bath tucked right over here. So this is a great space for guests, kind of a nice little tucked away section where they can kind of come in and have their own little getaway over here. Obviously you see the stairs. We're going to go upstairs in a minute. That is Sandra over there. She's working diligently. So as we mentioned, it's a beautiful decorated sales center. You can see kind of their little mechanics over here. Really beautiful. You can see a little bits of the floor plan and the versatility of the upstairs. That's your sneak peek. So the other thing I like about this floor plan is as we enter into the main hub of the home, they actually have a designated space here for your dining area. But it's so open and so connected right here to the main hub of the home that you really can utilize this space however you want. There's so much living space here. This is such a great open floor plan. All right, so here we are in that main hub. Look at all of the space and the square footage you have here for your main living area, right? You can see this is a huge oversized sectional extra chairs lots of little tables all around and you have an entire wall over here to either mount or do your built-ins for your tv cabinets hutches things like that lots of beautiful space there now let's talk, uh, talk about our kitchen area which is you know that is truly the heart of the home right so a lot of open space here as well you have a nice big island you can see here that they're featuring it with three pendant lights giving you an indication of three seats essentially around the table maybe even four lots of cabinets and counter space and one of my favorite things is the window in the kitchen I really am a big fan you know sometimes the kitchens are kind of nestled into the middle of the home but I love it right here when it's kind of tucked uh, off to the outside to the exterior let some of that natural light come in this is showing as a gourmet kitchen because you can see that you have the oven with the microwave convection kind of up above over here is going to be your nice large pantry and then over here is your breakfast or your dining nook so again lots of space to entertain just imagine this filled at the holidays or this family celebrations all all of this space decorated with all of your friends and families gathering around. Now, you know, we're not done on the first floor. We still have the primary suite over there, but let's take a peek back over here. This is going to be your entrance from your three car garage. So yes, three car garage over here. You have a two bay and then a separate single bay all connected back over here. So in this entry area, this mud room, if you want to call it that type of an effect, you're going to enter in through here. I love this. Adding the pre plum or even adding the, the sink, the laundry sink when you come in is really, really handy especially coming in directly from that garage. So again, laundry room, washer, dryer. If you want to add cabinets and counters or folding counters, you've got the opportunity to do that. I love this spot right here as well. This little nook is fantastic. Whether or not you want to do built-ins, custom built-ins, cubby, something similar to this, or if you even want to add more cabinets or counters or kind of custom do this the way it's going to best suit your family, I love this little niche right here, giving you a great opportunity for just limitless opportunity. All right, back over here is going to be another bedroom. So we saw the bedroom at the first uh, front of the home where the builders were working. Didn't get to see inside that one, but that is a bedroom as well. This is bedroom number two. Nice big bedroom tucked back over here. Again, one of the things I love about this is that all the bedrooms have their privacy. So bedroom, nice big closet, and then tucked right back over here is its own bathroom. So this bedroom is an ensuite having its own private bathroom. Before we pop over there, take a look at this lanai space and those four sliders. So two sets of doubles, 
beautiful opening, just kind of letting that outdoor living space kind of just flow right on inside. All right, speaking of inside, take a look at this primary bedroom. So if you are checking off things that are on your wish list, if you need for that primary bedroom to be on the first floor, then here you go. Now remember, this builder has a floor plan called the Easley. This is the Easley Grand, right? So you can make it grand by having that big giant upstairs, which we're going to take a look at in a minute. But really, if you think about this primarily as a one story, you've got the primary bedroom, that other bedroom, and the bedroom at the front of the home, and that office space with the glass French doors could be an additional bedroom if you really needed it to be. So here we are, primary bedroom, really huge, lots of square footage. You can see by the size of the bed, the oversized nightstands, but then over there, you still have that space for your sitting area. Primary bathroom, again, super nice as well. You have the double vanity over here, but here's what's cool. Look at this. You've got your shower that's kind of tucked over here, and I love this. I love the fact that it's a little bit different in the sense that you still have the big walk-in shower effect, but you're not on display for everyone. I love the fact that this kind of gives you both the glass window effect, but it's also walled off. And then, of course, you've got your privacy door for the toilet, and then a huge closet. Even though it is one, I love closets that are designed like this. I always imagine a nice big full length, just this wall right here being a mirror, giving you a great spot to check yourself out for the day, but it also gives you kind of a barrier divider between like the his and her side. Love that, really smart. Okay, so first floor, let's review as we walk upstairs. So we have bedroom number one up front where the builders were with a full bath just outside. Then we go into this glass doored, French doored area right here, which can be a bedroom or it could be an office space, which it is for them. We have the big dining room, kitchen, family room area, the two sets of ginormous double sliders. And then we have that great area that's tucked back by the garage, three car garage, remember? And you also have another bedroom, which is an ensuite tucked back there as well as the laundry room. Okay. If that wasn't enough to sell you on it, oh, the visual when you walk up these stairs into this space is to die for. This is incredible. This is absolute fun zone. This is just, oh my gosh, this is exciting. So a huge amount of space right here. This room alone is plenty of space for you to have fun with friends and family. If you've got kids, it's their game room, it's their video game room, it's their whatever they need, lots of space, whether they're little kids and they're rough and tumble and they've got all their big giant toys or whether they're the older kids and they've got everything on a video game center. <laughs> this is a great space. Spot, but not only that, not only that, let's take a peek here. These beautiful double doors, tall doors going into yet another space. This is essentially like a media room. Or again, think about you and your family. You know, just because we're in a model and they have them designed or they have them staged specific ways doesn't mean that you have to utilize it the exact same way. So think about what you might need to do. Maybe you make this your office space, right? Maybe you have a whole business that you can run right here out of this room. So many options and I really am in love with it and I'm in love with the decor and the colors all of it can you tell okay but we're not done so you come up the stairs you see this big magnificent room here you're wowed by these big eight foot double door French doors into the media room but guys we're not done over here we're gonna have two more bedrooms and another full bath and these bedrooms are very large these are oversized bedrooms really nice big bedrooms big oversized windows nice big walk-in closet over here lots of space right down this hall. Then you're going to see the full bathroom over here. You've got some linen closets as well. And then over here, you're going to have yet another bedroom. So these two bedrooms are going to share that bathroom, but they're both tucked over here off and away from that, um, the, the fun zone area from that game room area. So taking a look at this, look at the square footage. Now, while we're in this room, I just want to point out one little tip for you in uh, model homes. Oftentimes you're going to see additional recess lights. And in most cases, there's going to be four recess lights around that center fixture. So for instance, you have a center fixture here. And in most cases, you would see four of those recess lights. You don't have to have four all the time, guys. Sometimes you can just do two, still add that extra lighting here in the 
room and maybe two is just enough. So I like the way that in this particular model, they have done that for you. So you can kind of see all of the different options. Okay. Are you in love with it? Because I know I am. Again, this is the easily grand. We are here at Lakeview Preserve, which is technically it is in Winter Garden, although it is serviced by Lake County Schools and Taxes. It's a bit of a unicorn out here. This is a gated community with beautiful amenities. And this is their last section here within this community called the Estates at Lakeview Preserve. These are the larger home sites and they're only going to hold these larger homes. Absolutely beautiful. Gated within gated, wonderful amenities. Really a great, great, great find. All right, guys, do you love the Easley Grand? I do. Remember about 4,200 square feet, five to six bedrooms, lots of versatility. I'm in love. All right, guys, remember I do not work for or represent the builder. I'm a realtor here hoping to help guide you through the process and showcase these absolutely gorgeous homes. I hope you love this one as much as I do. All right, guys, thank you again for watching. Please stay safe, stay well. Remember, we love you and happy house hunting.